And we're in the garage. I said basement. Basement of the left. And there's a crabby can. Look into my eyes! You have all your photos. Yep. We have some of our portrait photography. And our payphone. <laughs> when old timers come and they want to reminisce about days long gone. And on one wall we have here is paintings. This is where we have our sink. You need it. And over here is no sink. Contacted a guy on Facebook who took down an old house and the sink was in the house. And he wasn't too careful when he took the sink out. So Kara fixed up the sink, took the dents out and soldered it so it didn't leak anymore. Now we got a nice copper sink. Nice shop sink. So up there we have our big prints of photography. We tried different mediums. Some are canvases, some are shiny aluminum, some are just regular photos. And then down here we have some of my tables and benches because we moved them down here. So I was working on some, but also the benches are heavy and they need room. So these are my burl tables. I have a cherry burl with all different epoxies on them. This is a mantle I'm putting on the wall where the bathtub is. It's an epoxy job I did three years ago and completely failed at it because it's about seven different pores of epoxy to make one thick pour of epoxy. And some of the epoxy yellowed, some has bubbles in it. So for me it's a completely failed job but it still looks cool so we're keeping it. Well and it tells a good story. Kind of looks like a fossil in amber. some scrap wood end tables we put down here. Some of them are new so I didn't price them out yet or give them a name. And then we have some barn beam benches. Mostly recycle, reclaim the barn beams and barn wood, except for one. And Nimbus is a reclaimed cat. The ultimate warrior! And I like to put industrial steel with them that's powder coated. Didn't somebody say they could use this as a trash can? <laughs> and then we have Kara's pottery studio. So for CARES organization, we made a bench, but one leg of the bench we have is little. We made adjustable shelves, that's a leg for the bench, so if she needs more room for pottery inventory, she's got it. And then we did the same thing over here, we made a little wall hanging one with adjustable shelves. Uh, we have some little shelves here for some thin stuff because it fits behind the door well. She has her board of miscellaneous potter things. But I might change that out because we're always fussy and changing your Yeah, we might change it out, but it has things like, you know, weights of clay needed for wear, test tiles, natural enemies like the orange. <laughs> we put hooks up there so if she needs more room for storage, it's really simple to hang up a cup there. They're usually up there unless people want to look at them, it's just easier to keep them down. Mm -hmm. And then we put additional shelves up here. These are just floating shelves for test tile type cups, more little glazes. We put some pegboard in, so she wants little hang do's and hang don'ts. Yeah, it's like everything's touchable, lickable. The 
schnozberries taste like schnozberries and the you know chemical gold tastes like chemical gold. Mm, chemical gold. And then up high she has some of her less used stuff, but we also made a library ladder, so if we need to get around on some things, we need to get around on it. And yes, we and yes, we made a curve. Kara has her buckets of plays under her finished table. They made some vertical organization for kiln shelves and another adjustable shelf for all of her Kiln posts. Kiln posts. Kiln furniture. Yeah. And then on the other side of the kiln, this is her dirty side. Dirty. More adjustable shelves for different pottery things. A couple of tools right here and then more shelves up here for stuff and floating shelves. And then her big Brent HD extruder. <clears throat> so it's like the serious version of the Play-Doh Fun Factory. Mm. And then of course the two wheels, the dirty wheel and the dirty wheel. So pottery and finished woodworking area, especially in the winter time. In the winter. Because it is There's temperature control. Car park here, but not today. Not all weekend. Ah. And since we, we started with this tabletop for pottery, then we made this tabletop, and then we found out we need a place to store wood, so we ripped out everything underneath it. Now we have wood storage that looks like a wine rack. Then we had space, so we had a re reclaimed little file cab cabinet guy thing. We made a wood top that's the same, and he is movable. So if we don't want him there, we just shoot him out. Just like the freezer. And then we put a little pegboard with some tools we use in the house. We made some cabinets because you can never have enough storage for bubble wrap. Are they soft closing? Of course they are. Take them on the Neanderthal. And over here we have our repurposed bathroom cabinet. So this was a cabinet that was supposed to go in the downstairs bathroom, except instead of making it four foot six, I made it six foot four. It didn't fit. So then we just put another countertop on top of the original countertop to keep it the same height. And now it's our boxing station for pottery. Yeah, it goes to the window. 